Hi, this is EJ, and today I'm going to show you how to fold a rose from the website bloomforever.com. Um, it's a really nice model. They actually have a bunch of different models on the website. They show you how to make the rose, a base, leaves, and stem. Um, but I'm just going to show how to make the rows in the base. And they have lots of different models of roses to make. Um, they have some that's done with the square and some that's done with a pentagram or pentagon, however you pronounce it. Um, and they have a couple of the Kawasaki roses. The directions are really descriptive. They have pictures along with written, um, so you can actually see what's going on. Or if you're having problems with one of the pictures, you can read the description and get a better idea, which is really good. Um, like I said, lots of models. Um, and they also have... Um, a couple of other diagrams that's folds and bases and then they have like boxes and boats and things of that sort um, so if you want you go check it out it's bloomforever.com um, so let's get started I'm starting with a six inch by six inch square for the rows my paper is colored on both sides, but if you're using paper that's white on one side and color on the other, you want to start with the white side up. Um, I have a different camera, so I'll do my best to show each fold um, so that it's easier to see. So, let's get started. First off, we want to make a valley fold in the center. So we're going to take the bottom edge and fold it to the top edge. You want to make sure it's lined up there and crease all the way through. And unfold and then the bottom edge to that middle crease you just created and crease all the way through and unfold rotate your paper bottom edge to the center crease And crease all the way through and then you want to take this bottom edge to the first crease you created which would be the quarter mark and line that up and crease all the way through and unfold Rotate your paper and do the same thing. Bottom edge to the quarter mark. And crease all the way through. Now you should have a big rectangle, four smaller ones, and another big one. So you want to rotate your paper and do the same thing bottom edge to the top edge crease all the way through bottom edge to the crease you just created and 
rotate your paper bottom edge to the crease in the middle and crease all the way through and you want to take this bottom edge up to the quarter mark and crease all the way through unfold rotate your paper and do the same thing bottom edge to the quarter mark and crease all the way through and unfold. Now what you should have is four squares on the corners, four rectangles in between those, and a four by four grid on the inside. So now you want to rotate your paper so it's a diamond shape. Make a valley fold on the diagonals. So take this bottom point up to the top point and crease all the way through. Unfold, rotate your paper, bottom point to the top point and crease all the way through. Unfold. Now you want to take focus on this square here. This square. And fold this point to this point. So we're just folding this in half. So we just folded this square in half. You want to do that the other three squares. So this point to the other point. Increase. Fold this one in half. And one last time. This tip to the opposite corner. Just folding them in half. You should have something like this. Now what you want to do is take these diagonal creases we just made and turn them into mountain folds. So you just want to pop it up and fold it. Make those a mountain fold. So now you have something like this. Now what you want to do is this diamond shape right here. You want to have a crease that runs through the middle. So this diamond shape here, you want it crease to run through the middle all the way across. So you're going to take this bottom edge and fold it to this point right here. So now you have 
this. And here's the diamond shape, and here's the crease that runs through it. So we had it like that. Now unfold, flip your paper over. and repeat that step. So you're not creating any new creases, you just creased what was already there. Now unfold and do the same thing with this with the other diagonal crease. So, pop it up so you get this shape. And again, here's the diamond, and you want to crease right through the middle all the way across. Now you have this. So you want to unfold that, flip your paper over, and you'll notice the crease that's there. You just want to fold that up on that crease. So you have this shape. Unfold and unfold that. So now you have two rectangles vertical and two horizontal. Now you just want this middle crease to pop up like that and do the same thing with this one. So you get something like this. Now what you want to do is take this center crease starting here and make it a mountain fold. So you just squeeze these two points together while pushing that crease up. So you get this. Turn your paper and do the same thing. Push that crease up. I'm just going to go ahead and make that a mountain. Okay. get that. It might be easier just to go ahead and make these mountain folds. And then push in on the sides.
So now you have this with the center mark sticking up away from the paper. So now you want to do the twist on the center. So bring this point down. This point goes up. This one to the right and this one to the left. And you have this point sticking up. So now you want to squash this point. I find it if you just mash these that it goes down on its own and just squash it flat so you have something like this. Now what you want to do is flip your paper over and loosening these up helps tremendously so just pop those loose a little bit and then you want to take this edge here and align it with this edge so we're just going to bring that over like that and there should be a crease here that runs down and there's actually a crease here that you can fold on um, fix this. there's actually a crease right here um, if you find it easier, you can just do a mountain fold there. This, this will help for that. So you can just make that a mountain fold. Same here, here, and here. You make that a mountain fold. And then when you go to do this, that will become a valley fold. and it's much easier to work with. So now we're going to take this edge and align it with this edge. Just bring this edge up. And the same thing with this edge, this edge to this edge. And one last time. This edge to this edge. And you have something like this. Now these four flaps you want to wrap around. So if you kind of push them in you kind of wrap on their own. So now you have something like this. So you want to flip it over and you can see inside there you want to mash that inside square flat like that and then you want to smooth the creases that's in there. So just go around with your thumb
and smooth these creases. And flip back over. So now you want to unwrap these a little bit. So you have something like this now. You'll notice on these flaps there's a crease here. It goes up and over. So it's a crease that runs here comes over and runs down. So you want to mash that crease from the inside, push that down so you get this shape. So you just want to open that up, squeeze this corner, and on the side here you're going to create a crease that goes from this point up to here. So this edge will go up to this crease that runs right here. So you're going to make a crease that runs this way. So this bottom edge will line up with this crease and this edge will run to this crease here. So you're just bringing this edge up and crease. So you've created this crease right here. So you brought this edge to this crease and this bottom edge to this crease. So you want to do that on the other three sides. So just pop that crease from the inside. Pinch this edge and bring it up. Again, you created this crease here by bringing this edge to this crease and this bottom edge to this crease. So you start with this, pinch this side, bring it over so this bottom edge aligns with this crease. So pop that crease from the inside so you get this shape. Bring this edge to this crease and this bottom edge to this crease here. I have a hard time folding away from me, so I find it easier to close to fold. Let me rephrase that. I find it easier to fold away than to me, so it's the reason I have to turn it when I fold. Um, so you're bringing this edge to this crease, this bottom edge to this crease. So it should look like that when you're finished with it. So just pop that crease out. And you have that. So now you have something that looks like this. So these flaps that you created need to go push those in 
and drop that back so you have this triangle shape here sticking out. So you're going to push that in and that over. So that in, that over, and this one in, and this one over. So now you have this. So you want to flip it over, reinforce these creases here. So if you look from the side, you've got this triangular shape here. You're just going to fold this point to this point. So we're just folding this in half. Like that. We just folded this in half. So you want to do that for the other three sides. Fold this point to this point. This point to this point. If anything comes loose, you can just put it back in place. This point to this point. And so now you want to inside reverse fold this top portion. Lift that up and push in. So now you get this flap that sticks up. Once again, unfold that, lift this flap up, and push in on that. So unfold, lift up, and push in. Unfold, lift up, and push in. Now you want to take this flap, bring this bottom edge, this bottom edge right here, to this crease. And we're just going to raise that up to meet that crease. So this bottom edge here to meet this crease. And we're going to do that for all four sides. Bottom edge to the crease. And bottom edge to the crease. So we're taking this bottom edge here and folding it to this crease right here. So we're just lifting that up and folding it along there. So now you want to inside reverse fold this point. So lift it up, this edge up, and push in. So you have something like that. So push that down. 
raise this up and push in on that point. down, open that up a bit, and push that in. So, hold that point down, lift this up, in. And we're almost done. Just want to reinforce those creases that's there. So this point you want to push in. Hold it there. Take this point and push in. You'll notice that there's paper sticking up here. Just want to bring that back so you get this flap that's there. Take this point, push down, do the same thing, just push that flat back. And then your last point, you want it to overlap this third point and go under the first point. Push that flat back. And push this flat back. So you have this. So you've got these four points, and you've got those tips right there crossed together so that it locks it closed. And you want to flip over. So you have this. And then you want to just open this inside up. Mash that center down. There you have your rows. And we'll stick that off to the side. And for the base, I use a square that is two inches smaller. So the rose was six inches. So I'm going to use a four inch square. Um, you'll want to start with the white side up if you're using paper that's color on one side and white on the other. Of course, my paper is colored on both. And this is called the candlestick base. Candlestick base one. I'm sorry. Um, it's basically the easiest base I found to work with. Um, so let's get started. 
So first we're going to start off with a preliminary base. So fold this bottom edge to the top edge. Increase all the way through. Bottom edge to the crease you just created. No, I'm sorry. Rotate your paper and bottom edge to top edge. And crease all the way through. Now you want to flip your paper. Turn it so it's a diamond shape, and you're going to crease the diagonals. So bottom point to the top point. So this point to this point. And crease all the way through. Rotate your paper and do the same thing. This point to this point. Increase all the way through. Now, if you rotate your paper and push the center, you'll notice these creases pop up and these creases stay down. So, you just want to push these in so you get a preliminary base. Make these creases nice and strong. So you want the closed part at the top, open part at the bottom. You're going to take this edge to this middle crease. So this edge to the middle crease. So you get something like that. Now you want to take this edge and bring it to the center there. So you have that. Now flip your paper over and do the same thing. This edge to that center crease. And this edge to the center crease. you have that. Now you want to unfold those and now you're going to make a petal fold. So lift this point up. You'll notice there's a crease that starts here, comes up, and goes around. So you're going to push this point, push it in along that crease. So we've inside reverse fold this edge. So now we're going to come over to this edge. So fold that flap up, open it up a bit, 
you'll see the crease that starts here comes up and goes over down to here. So you're going to push in on this point and you'll notice that it all goes in on that crease. So you can fold that all the way down but we're going to keep it closed for now. So you end up with this. So turn the model over and do the same thing. Lift this point up. Mash on this point. And you get that. And one last top. Lift this point up and mash on this point. And close the model. So now you have this. So turn the model, rotate the model. So you're going to take this edge this edge here to this center crease. So this edge to the center crease so this edge to that center crease there and you get that you're going to fold this flap over, bring this edge to that center crease. And then flip this flap back over. Turn the model over and do the same thing. This edge to that center crease. Fold this flat over and this edge to that center crease. and fold that flat back over. So now you want to take this point, this top layer, this point, and bring it to this point. So you're just folding it down. like that. So you bring this top point down to the bottom point, fold the model over, and this point to this point. Now you have something like this. So you just brought this point down to this point. Now you want to open this side and bring this point to this point. There's a little hole here so you get your finger in there to crease that. Fold the model over 
do the same thing with this. Bring this point to this point. And there's a hole here so you can stick your finger in there to get that crease. And now you should have something that looks like this. So you have this pyramid shape here. Then you've got your leaf things here. So now you're going to twist this, these sides here is going to twist. So if you push in and twist, push in and twist, you get that. So all I done was took my thumb and finger, push in, and twist. And then you can just mash those down. done with the candlestick base. Now to get the rows on the base you can just take this point and put it inside so the rose just kind of sits on there or you can put the rows to sit here which requires glue have to glue the base to this to get it to stay. Um, if you want to use floral wire, you can put it in here and have it come up. If your right, but if your rose is sitting on here, you have it come up inside this. Or if you have your rose sitting like that can have your wire come in in this point here and curl it over so that it doesn't fall out. But I don't really use glue on these so I just kind of push it on there. And then you can curl these. There's your rose with its base. Now there is a hole right here that you can put floral or floral wire in um, if you want to use floral wire for it. But that's the rose and the base. Once again, it's from bloomforever.com. Go there, check them out. It's a really good website. I found it just a few days ago. And really nice roses on there. So go check it out and post a video or comment if you've made one of these from my instructions or even if you went to the website and made one. I'd like to see your work, and good luck, and we'll see you next time.